my god. You're so awesome, Lawrence Lim. It's Lawrence Lim, we did the W. A priest, a minister, and a rabbi want to see who's best at their job. So they each go into the woods, find a bear, and attempt to convert it. Later, they get together. The priest begins. When I found the bear, I read to him from the catechism and sprinkled him with holy water. Next week is his first communion. I found a bear by the stream, says the minister, and preached God's holy word. The bear was so mesmerized that he let me baptize him. They both look down at the rabbi, who is lying on a gurney in a body cast. Looking back, he says, maybe I shouldn't have started with the circumcision. <laughs> A rich divorced woman decided that she needed another husband in her life, so she placed an ad which read something like this. Rich divorced woman, looking for man to share life and fortune. Needs to have these qualifications. One, won't beat me up. Two, won't run away. Three, has to be great in bed. For several months, her phone rang off the hook. Her doorbell was ringing constantly. She received tons of mail, but all to no avail. None seemed to match her qualifications. Then one day, the doorbell rang it again. She opened the door to find a man with no arms and no legs, lying down at the doorstep. Very surprised, she asked, Who are you and why are you lying down at my doorstep? Hi, he said. Your search is over, for I am the man of your dreams. I've got no arms, so I can't beat you up, and no legs, so I can't run away. Well then, she said, what makes you think that you're so great in bed? To which he replied, Well, I rang the doorbell, didn't I? <laughs> there was an elderly couple who in their old age noticed that they were getting a lot more forgetful, so they decided to go to the doctor. The doctor told them that they should start writing things down so they don't forget. They went home and the old lady told her husband to get her a bowl of ice cream. You might want to write it down, she said. The husband said, no, I can remember that you want a bowl of ice cream. She then told her husband she wanted a bowl of ice cream with whipped cream. Write it down, she told him, and again he said, no, no, I can remember, you want a bowl of ice cream with whipped cream. Then the old lady said she wants a bowl of ice cream with whipped cream and a cherry on top. Write it down, she told her husband and again he said, no, I got it. You want a bowl of ice cream with whipped cream and a cherry on top. So he goes to get the ice cream and spends an unusually long time in the kitchen, over 30 minutes. He comes out to his wife and hands her a plate of eggs and bacon. The old wife stares at the plate for a moment, then looks at her husband and asks, where's the toast? <laughs> At a small club in the Midwest, a ventriloquist is doing his show. His show includes a whole stream of jokes about blonde stupidity. After about a dozen of the blonde jokes, a blonde woman yells out. That's it. I've had enough of your cheesy comedy. I'm tired of being stereotyped by lousy comedians like you. All you can do is make fun of people's appearance. What does someone's looks have to do with her worth? I'm fed up with being laughed at because of the color of my hair, and people at work thinking I'm stupid because idiots like you perpetuate a hurtful, denigrating stereotype. You're an insult to blondes everywhere. The room is silent for a minute, then the entertainer tries to explain. But before he can get two words out, the blonde says, Shut up mister. This is between me and that midget on your lap. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!